Yo, what is up? This is Joshua Castro, and welcome to another Ableton Live tutorial. Um, this one's more on Massive, obviously, but I work inside Ableton, so whatever. That's my intro. Um, last, last tutorial, I showed you how to make a couple of different templates for ascenders or risers and these type of things that build up or help add to your build ups. And I'm going to be using the performer version of the two that I showed you in that last tutorial, which, by the way, you should go check out if you haven't because I'm going to show you how to add on to that today. So if you want to learn how to make this uh, beautiful template here, uh, go ahead and click that link and go check that out. And uh, as always, I'll go ahead and just upload the uh, preset if you guys don't want to mess around and go ahead and learn this, the, the, the method or if you just, um, you're having problems but you still want to use the sound. Anyway, this is what we have here. I've got a track I'm working on, tracks in E, so I have um, just this on uh, E3. I have a an eight bar, almost an eight bar, just one note held down. And, and um, if we come into the template that we made last time, this is the sound we'll get. This is the performer template we made last time, by the way. And that's pretty cool and the reason why you only hear the uh, white noise start to come in is because this right note right here is eight bars long and we have the performer set up for a 16 bar build up so if we go ahead and bring this down to eight uh, the, the the effect should be more complete it should start um, at negative 12 and build up to 48 here on the pitch curve so let's go ahead and listen to that now And that's pretty cool and there's a little bit of an artifact here but I'm gonna keep it I don't want to mess with it you can obviously get rid of it if you wanted to but I want to keep it because it's gonna actually add to the sound we're about to make so as of right now the only thing I've done to change the um, original template is I've changed the ratio from eight, uh, 16 to 8 now the next thing I'm gonna do and it's only one thing is I'm gonna come over to the the wavetable I'm gonna change it to effects chords over here I'm gonna change it to cicada which is is a pretty cool sound that kind of sounds like cicadas those little bugs um, but this is all I'm gonna do is change this from 16 to 8 and this to cicada I'm not gonna touch anything else um, on the channel itself I've got a little bit I've got the uh, sub cut off here and I've got a little bit of a boost and I've got a gain which kind of brings it in slowly to the middle and then uh, on the massive I've got the right left pan rate um, slowly coming up but this was part of the original uh, template so that's not that's nothing new you don't have to do that or you shouldn't have to do that if you followed along with that last one but anyway this is what it sounds like now and if you'll notice um, about midway through a sub comes in or a bass which rises with the cicada sound and then that little artifact when it bounces off it actually adds a little bit of flair and then when I play it with the whole track you'll see what I mean but um, this is what we got so far And as you see, I kind of like that little that little uh, artifact that happens and bounces off right there. So anyway, all I did was change two things inside that template, and I've got a completely different um, ascending sound here. And if I play that together with the rest of the track, you'll see that it um, it really adds a lot to the track. Um, also, I had to separate this from the original mix, so it might not be mixed perfectly, but I'm sure you'll be able to hear what it's doing.
pretty cool, huh? Anyway, uh, I hope that helps. And like I said, I'll upload the preset if you uh, are having difficulties or you just don't want to try it. And um, I will also leave a link to that last tutorial about how to make that template. Anyway, I uh, hope that helps you guys. Talk to you next time.